Hi everyone, it's Miss Cupid, and today we're going to be making some pixel power donuts! Step number one, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Luckily, we have a digital oven, so we can do it like this. I hit bake, I hit 425, and then I push start. Step number two, you want to spray your pan with some non-stick spray. This, the pan I got at Michael's, it was about $20 or so, and you want to spray it with this non-stick spray. You want to make sure to get all the edges. I <laughs> mean... <laughs> Now that you've got your pan sprayed, set it aside, and then we can get on to the ingredients. First, the list of dry ingredients. The first ingredient is two cups of flour. Second ingredient is white sugar. Our third ingredient is baking powder. Our next ingredient is nutmeg. And the last dry ingredient you'll need is salt. Now for the wet ingredients. The first wet ingredient is milk. Next two eggs, and our last wet ingredient is melted butter. Next, I'll tell you how much of each item you need. First one is two cups of flour. Next one is three quarters of a cup of white sugar. Next is two teaspoons of baking powder. Then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And then one teaspoon of salt. For your wet ingredients, you're going to need three quarters of a cup of milk two eggs, and two tablespoons of butter. Now, let's get baking! Okay, so let me check my recipe. I need two cups of flour. <laughs> Next is three quarters of a cup of sugar. Next is two teaspoons of baking powder. Next is a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And our last dry ingredient is a teaspoon of salt. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. Our first wet ingredient is three quarters of a cup of milk. Now, our next ingredient is eggs, and to admit, I suck at cracking eggs, and you don't want to get any egg shell in your mix, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack it on the side up here. There's our first egg, and here's our second egg. for everyone, but eggs scare me. Our last ingredient is two tablespoons of melted butter. One, two, and now we'll put them in the microwave so that way they can melt. You want to put the butter in for 30 seconds. I usually try to tidy up a little bit at this stage. 
butter is all melted now. And now we can mix it with the mixer. This is what your dough should look like after it's done. Now we can start to pour it into the pan. So you may be wondering, how are we going to get the batter into the holes? Well, here's a trick my mom taught me. You take a plastic bag like this, you shove it into a thing like this, and then you put this over top, and then you put the dough this in. This is the trickiest part. Just try your best. Like I said, a bit tricky. Okay. I finally got the loss a little bit in there. Now, you can take it out and your batter should look like this. And don't close it yet, you want to make sure you get all the air out. And you also want to tip it over to like one side, try and get it in the side the most. Then, you can close it up like this, and take your scissors and snip at it. There we go. Now, we can start piping it. So I finished piping the donuts and I found this easier to put the donut pan onto a cookie sheet so that way it's easier to take out once you're done baking them. And you want to put them in the oven and you want to bake them for 7 to 9 minutes. So what you want to do for this oven, you want to hit timer, you want to put on for 8 minutes and then hit start. And there you go. Once they are done baking, then we can take them out. You can check on them with the light, like here. They, it's been eight minutes, I've taken the donuts out, and they, they look pretty good. When you wear oven mitts, do you ever feel like you're a lobster? <laughs> so this is a cooling rack. You can use it to cool things like the donuts. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to flip the donuts right onto here, as I am about to show you. There we go. And there we go. Pretty cool, huh? Here are the Pixel Power Donuts! Now we'll just wait for them to cool and we can decorate them. Hmm. Waiting for them to cool is the hardest part. Now here's the best part. Decorating. So I have melted butter here. I just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds like I did before. And here I have some sugar and I'm gonna do them, I'm gonna decorate them like the old fashioned cinnamon donut. So what you wanna do is you wanna take one you, you wanna take a donut, you wanna put it in the butter so that way you glaze it, and then you wanna put it over again in the butter on the other side. And then you wanna put it in the sugar, and then put it in the sugar again, and then you put it on the drying rack, like so. Here's what it looks like. And now it's time to enjoy the Pixel Power Donut. Hope you have a pixelation today.